Hi guys, it's Mariska from Design by Mariska, and today I'm here with Nathan Alapide as he's the artist of the month. Hi Nathan, Hello, welcome Mariska. to the channel. Thank Would you. you mind telling the people a little bit more about yourself? Okay. Um, I was born, I'm from the Philippines and um, I moved to Dubai like 14 years ago. Oh. Um, I'm, a sand, I'm working as a sand artist now, but other than that, I also paint, um, I do uh, artworks on uh, graffiti works as well. And uh, yeah, I've been doing the sand art for more than two years now. And I've been painting, I think, for like 10 years already. So, oh, so yeah. long time, very long it time. Is, yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. How did your journey start with art? Um, I've been in love with creating uh, since I was small. I think as far back as I can remember, I was nine years old when my father uh, gave me these art books about the uh, masters like Picasso, Manet, Van Gogh, and I saw their artworks. And I was so inspired by that, and I started to copy or draw them. And ever since then, I've uh, st I never stopped uh, creating. And uh, like when I moved here in in Dubai, that's when I I really started to really get serious in painting. And I discovered sand art, doing sand art as well. And uh, yeah. Uh, over like last year, I was offered uh, to work as a full-time sand artist by Jumeirah mm -hmm. Beach Hotel, and yeah, from there I've never stopped creating. Oh, that's so, brilliant! That's yeah. really amazing! Wow, and you've done some really awesome sand art pieces, which you guys will be able to see <laughs> in the video. So, what inspires you as an artist? I think what inspires me the most as an artist is to be able to create something and to be able to share that to other people as well, you know. And um, I, really, I really love the process of creating something. So yeah, it's, it, that thing, that inspires me as well. Um, to become an artist. So with every piece you're doing, you also get more inspiration because you get feedback from other people and also to create a new piece every time. Exactly. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, so. cool. Art comes in different mediums, from sand art to actually painting on old magazines. Do you have a favorite medium? Um, I would say that my favorite would be uh, the sand art because it's um, when people look at the sand art, they, they see something that's beautiful, but at the same time, they get to experience something that is ephemeral. So they experience beauty, and at the same time, they experience loss, uh, which is um, pretty much just like life, you know, everything changes and all that. And you don't get that from the other artworks that I do because you know like for a painting it's gonna be there yeah but for the sand art you have to be really there and appreciate the time that it's there because okay. it's not gonna last yeah because I mean when the tide comes it's gone it's gone yes and then all your hours of hard work is gone yes. does that like is that a little bit of emotional as well because every day when you create this piece and then you know all of a sudden it's gone well, in a way, I've learned to let go. <laughs> but, that's uh, good. I think that's yes, a good strategy. Yeah, I've learned to let go. And um, it's when I create the sand art, it's more of the, the process for me, you know, okay. of enjoying the process of creating something. Oh, that's brilliant. So, yeah. So how do you start with a piece? Do you have any like specific rituals that you do before you start with a piece? Yeah. Um, when I start the piece, I don't really have any ritual. Um, I just, like for a painting, um, I just go take the brush, take a paint, and put the paint on the canvas, and um, it's like everything flows once you start uh, putting your uh, brush onto the canvas. It's the okay. same with the sand art as well. I use the rake, and then once I do a line, 
or yeah, a line on the sand, then everything just kind of just flow. It's me. like automatic wow. in a way. So you don't have like a reference image or anything like you've done the Mona Lisa, yeah. you've done. So is there is there a form of reference that you use as well or you just? Well, I do. There's two ways when I do the sand art, like one is where I have a reference. Okay. okay, I draw something on a piece of paper and then I transfer it onto the sand. And the second uh, uh, type of creating the sand art is where I just take my, my sand, my, my rake, and then just draw something on the sand and then just let everything flow without thinking. Thinking anything. about it. Yeah, just you just go with the flow. Oh, yes, and then cool. just enjoy the cool. process and feel the sand. Wow. Yeah. So, so do you just use a rake or do you have other tools as well that you go about when doing the sand art? I only use the rake. Wow. Yeah. And uh, to measure uh, to measure the, the artwork, if I need to measure it, then I can use uh, the steps that I make or how oh, far you stretch okay. your hand and or your wow. arm. And yeah, most of them are like gut feeling. Well, but this obviously comes with practice. It's not something that, you know, from day one you were able to do the perfect sand art or were you? Maybe you are just like a master of sand art like that. Oh, no, that's, that's true what you said. Uh, in the beginning, I did make a lot of mistakes. And even now, I still uh, have to correct the sand art uh, okay. if I have to. But, uh, yeah, I do create mistakes and... I've been doing the sand art for more than two years now, so wow. it's just any other skills that you get better more, as you practice it. Exactly, the more you okay. do it, the, the better you become at it. Oh, so it's brilliant. just practice. So if you could spend one afternoon with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be, and why? Oh, okay. Um, if I can spend an afternoon with uh, an artist, that would be Mark Rothko because uh, his artworks can, when I see his artworks, it communicates with me in a different level, not like in any other artworks oh, that I've seen, you know. Yeah. I, I really, I really um, get his, his, uh, his paintings or his artworks. And why? Because um, what made him end his life, okay. in a way. Wow, so, that's interesting, interesting choice. Yes. Yeah, very <laughs> interesting. So what projects are you currently working on? Well, at the moment, my, my paintings, I, uh, I'm creating more of the magazine artworks like this one, and I'll you can see it here as well at, at Showcase Gallery. And for the sand art, I want to do something for um, uh, Sheikh Syed in 2018, you know. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. A few very <laughs> interesting projects, seems yeah. like it. Yeah. So, if you could choose any superpower in the world, what would it be and why? Quick question. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wanted to have a superpower where you can, if you close your eyes and you think of a place and you get transported to that oh, place. Oh, you'll be there. Oh, that, yes. that would be amazing. You I'll know? be in Paris right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can go anywhere, else, anywhere in the world and visit people, you know. That's so cool. Uh, so, yeah, that would, yeah. Be, that would be really nice. Well, let's see. Maybe we can get some superpowers <laughs> as well. <laughs> So do you have any advice for any young artists trying to start out? I think the advice that I would give to any young artist is to just keep on creating and uh, enjoy the process of doing it, you know. That's, that's some really good advice because I think a lot of young artists they, they work to a certain point, but you know, when you're not getting the results, you kind of lose your creativity and you stop. And you know, you might be one painting away from being the next Vincent Van Gogh, who That's knows? <laughs> so Nathaniel, what is next for you? What's next? Um, 
I'll keep creating the sand art, and I want to do. I really want to do something for next year for the year of uh, Zayed or Sheikh Zayed, you know, okay. as a tribute. Wow, so that's really awesome. So you want to create something for the year of Zayed, yeah. maybe a massive piece on the beach, and um, that would really attract a lot of people, I think. Yes, yes. Um, I, yeah, that's what I really want to do, and yeah, to create a massive piece. Oh, that sounds yeah. brilliant. So as a little thank you for being on the channel and being our Artist of the Month, here's a little pin board made from recycled corks. Wow. So that's your <laughs> gift. Thank you so much. Thank you so and much, Marisa. Yeah. This is so nice, so sweet. <laughs> You're most welcome. And thank, thank you for giving us a little bit more of an insight for, you know, of your art and the amazing projects you're working on. I really appreciate it. Thank oh, thank you. you as well for doing this interview. You're it's most really welcome. Nice. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and go and create something beautiful.